What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Game, and we're back with some more LEGO The Incredibles. This one happens to be level 7, The Golden Years. Free play! No trophy achievements found in this video. However, we do get that true super of 150k, and we get all of those mini kits and compile them into a pretty sweet vehicle at the very end. So, uh, yeah, here we are. We got some quick links down below in the video description if you're in a hurry to find those collectibles. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and toggle from our map over to the level select screen and get all the way over to level 7, which is the beginning of the beginning. <laughs> I know that's kind of confusing. The way they did this game was kind of funny as they put the second movie storyline first and then the first movie storyline second. So we are actually beginning the original Incredibles movie right now, sort of. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we start off in the pool, we're taking a quick dip, and you know, there is a mini kit right below us, and I jump around a little bit. I couldn't quite get that mini kit. Now you can switch to a character that can go underwater, or you can be like me and fly to the top and ride the slide. That's right, woo to the hoo, whoop, and booyaka shaw. We've got that mini kit wrapped up. Oh, and the bartender just gave us, what was that, a 6.6 it looked like? Come on, we had a little better form than 6.6. Uh, anyhow, moving along, we're going to go over to the right-hand side. We've got some baddies we're going to butt slam along with some picnic tables. And look at that. The tables give us a multi-build. We can go ahead and select left or right, but we're going to want to choose the right as it is the special area. There's actually a kind of a hidden area where we go into Bob's office and have an opportunity to get not one but two mini kits on the far right. So this is pretty sweet. I love these really uh, over-the-top ways of opening small things. We, we already saw... Um, you know, the key get found under the mat with that big elaborate machine. Anyhow, moving along, we've got uh, we got a nice little free pathway. We've got a copy machine that needs repair there. But first, we're going to go all the way to the end and scale this wall. And up top on the second floor, we've got mini kit number two. Drop back down and this time switch to a character that has the repair ability, somebody like Syndrome, and go ahead and hold down that icon. For us, it was Soikle, but it was kind of a funny angle. But I will say, even though it does mess up on me from time to time, it does continue where I left off. So, like, I was a third of the way through and I messed up, and then when I started again, it was still a third of the way through. So that's that's kind of cool. A little bit of an improvement for these user error moments. All right, we are all done with the right side special area room there. We're going to go ahead and smash, if you need to, and rebuild the multi-build into a left side. Look at that. It's a it's a little, uh, like I was going to say a Gatling gun, but that's not the right word for it. Uh, we got a grapple gun that we can go ahead and fire up and pull that down. Now we need to grapple yet again. So pull somebody out like Elastigirl. Go ahead and rip that down and flip the switch. And, oh, we're not waiting very long. We could have probably flown up here, too. Uh, but we're basically heading over to the fenced area. Now, once we see Buddy kind of make fun of us, he, look at that, he's like, neener, neener. And then they, these guys pop out, which uh, don't pose much of a threat to us. We go ahead and butt slam. Oh, one butt slam takes down three bad guys. Really what we're after and wanting to pay attention to is Mini Kit 5, Part 1 of 3. Now, don't freak out. I did not miss or forget about Mini Kit 4. It is coming up. However, we don't get the third pigeon coop built to get mini kit five until we find mini kit four. So that may be a little bit confusing, but essentially just think of it like this. We find mini kit four before we complete all three of the pigeon coops needed for that mini kit that I have labeled five. So one is done. I have flipped the switch thanks to some go-go gadget arms of Elastigirl. And now we can get through. I probably could have flown over that fence as well. But we just basically need to keep on keeping on if you're need, needing some studage. There's obviously some things floating around. For us, we're just picking up all sorts of studs with our stud attract red brick. And then, of course, we got the multipliers on as well because we have completed the story, the crime waves, and the free roam. And all oh, right, so here is the second of three pigeon coops. It's just to the left of the greenhouse. However, the greenhouse also holds a little mini game inside there. And it's really not a mini game. It's just a little computer terminal we're going to walk up to and give it the old peep wobble peep whoop And once we do that, it's going to puke out a mini kit from us. Well, actually, it's going to grow a mini kit. So uh, the dirt pukes it out, though. Ready? It waters. Here comes the water. And naturally, it grows up. And oh, there we go. Mini kit is just waiting for us. We'll go ahead and select that guy or grab it on the way by. And Booyaka Shao, we got four down. Now the next one is over to the far right up top. We have to wait for Buddy to pull the ladder up on us. That's right. 
See, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to return back to this lower ground if I skipped the greenhouse to go get that third pigeon coop. I probably could have come back there, but I didn't want to risk it. There it is, though. There's a third pile of boards. Go ahead and slam them down and rebuild them up. And we got ourselves another pigeon coop. And all right, so next up, we've got another mini kit up on this crazy ledge with all the fire. We're going to switch to a character like Miss Edna Mode. She has the little robot. That's right. DJ Roomba is back once again. We're going to go ahead and drive him up the tube, which is definitely a funny angle. I, I don't know what was going on here. It, it seems to not work. And then all of a sudden, it just worked. So uh, I'm sure it was user error. And I did notice that no matter what, I just needed to press the up button. Even when it made the bend around the corner, you'd think you'd have to press right. You don't. You press up. So it was a little confusing. But uh, once it gets all the way to the end, it presses that button. It drops some bricks. We'll go ahead and, well, let's see. We'll try to, no, third time's a charm? Uh, nope, fourth time's a charm. All right. We'll go ahead and build them up and get that mini kit. I don't know why I can never find that sweet spot on the build piles. I struggle with that all the time on pretty much every LEGO game ever made. Again, a user error. Not the developer's fault, probably. Uh, but I'll take credit for that one. But hey, we do have a quite lengthy section here where we have to find some incredible bricks and beat up some bad guys before we get to that next collectible. So Thumpy has a nice little tip letting you know that we do have quick links down below in the video description. And that's going to actually take us all the way to mini kit number seven, which is inside area two, which is titled The Bank Job. So uh, once we get inside there, there are three silver things. Actually, they're not silver. They're just uh, dynamite piles that we need to buy. But we'll get to that in a minute. Meanwhile, oh, I thought we were going to pull out Hot Dog Guy there for a second. <laughs> Psych. Really, we're just going to fly over down below. Bomb Voyage over there throwing stuff at us. We're, we're going to skip him. We've already been down here. We need to get over here and power through this spot here. We're going to lift this big old tower up and knock it down so that we can get to that next section over there but we need a character like mr incredible somebody with some muscles go ahead and rip this down and i don't know why it's not letting me select him it's not me being you know carefully trying to select it wouldn't let me select any of them and, and i don't know why i've been running into that lately i thought it was kind of a, a character spatial awareness situation where like the character was too close to a wall maybe he's too big to like spawn into that big character because he's on the wall that wasn't the case and, oh and watch this this is hilarious I don't know how many times I fall off this tower, probably like four or five times. Okay. Ironically, the wife was actually in the room with me, and she was kind of laughing at me, and she was like, why don't you just fly over it? So, of course, I, I fly over it. But that other character is still down there, so I'm going to have to do that yet again. And, of course, I fail yet again. Oh, the glory moments. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, bombs being tossed at us, bad guys running around, and really what we need to do is spam, 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 spam. spam. What we're trying to do is get the incredible bricks needed to get this family build going because unfortunately we can't just fly off into the next section. Now, you could uh, like save and exit, I guess, and then just go and reselect the levels and then choose the second area. That might be faster than actually playing through this now that I'm thinking about it. But, I, you know, me, I always go through and play the levels. Even when I get all the collectibles, I've always finished the levels. Uh, you know, there's been a few of you that have kind of requested that maybe we stop doing that. And we've been toying with all sorts of different ideas. Like, we even thought about maybe doing the story in a live stream just so we could play through it and just live stream. But, you know, the formula has been around for so many years. We don't want to mess it up. So, um, I don't know. Let us know what you think down below if, if you'd like a, to see us just live stream the story videos. Now, that would that would change things. They wouldn't be broken down into, like, one individual story video. They'd be chunks. It'd be, like, you know, three, four, five levels at a time, depending on how long they are and how well I do. And they wouldn't be as informational as they currently are. So, so there'd definitely be some some downsides. What the, the positive side would be, though, is, as I switch to a strong man like Mr. Incredible and rip this bad boy up, um, the, 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 the positives are is that we could actually get to free play a lot quicker because I wouldn't have to go back and edit the story videos and go through and talk over them and all of that because they would have been a live stream. So, yeah, let, let me know what you think. Like I said, uh, if you guys use the story videos, perhaps as like, you know, a way to get through things. Uh, if you don't ever use them, then you probably don't care and you would probably want those free play videos sooner. Uh, it, it's just kind of up to you guys of what you want. Now, 
The problem is, too, is that if only one of you responds, that's probably not going to be enough. I'm going to need a bunch of you to give us some feedback before we would make a pretty big decision changer like that. But hey, if, if, you, if the majority of you guys wants to see change, we'll change it. We are all about that. I mean, without you guys watching our videos and asking, you know, requesting games and, and asking for certain moments, trophy achievements and things like that, we, we wouldn't be here. And you guys know that just as well as we do. So give us that feedback. All right, I do believe we have all the Incredibricks needed. Finally, that's right, I have flapped my yapper through that long drought of collectibles. And now we are up top, completing them meters. That's right, we got them all filled up. Oh, wait, no, we don't. Yes, we do. And once it gets all good to go, we actually uh, we have this crazy slingshot deal here. It looks kind of like an airplane, but really it's a giant slingshot. Uh, we're going to complete that by walking over with Elastigirl, but not... Before getting all these studs, you know me, got to get them all, got to get them all. So we'll go ahead and stand on that swinkle there and press the button to go up and then over. And it takes us to a cutscene, which we have removed. And hey, remember earlier when I was talking about those sticks of dynamite? Well, there's the first one on the far left side. We'll go ahead and smash it down and rebuild it up. Look at that, first of three. Good news is we've got all three of them right here. You can see number three is over there in the hallway. Number two is just to the right of the hallway. Smash and build them both up, totaling three. And you will get that mini kit number seven. Wait for it, wait for it. All right. All right, so we're going to advance down the hallway here, and it kind of is a funny angle with the camera, but once we get in here, we see that there is... Oh, it's Bomb Voyage! <laughs> He's going to toss a few bombs. Oh, no, he took out the computer terminal. And there he goes. Off down the hallway. And you know what? That's good, though. He left us a couple bad guys and this nice little frozen pond here in the middle. We're actually going to freeze this. You know, often you find coins and things in there. We are going to find something better than a coin inside this guy. Normally, you don't have to freeze them either. Normally, they can just look down there. And I don't recommend stealing. You know, it's, it's not a give a penny, take a penny. It's, you know, it's good luck. You, you throw something in there and you wish for something and hopefully it comes true. In our case, we're going to freeze it and steal the mini kit and never look back. And all right, so we are good to go. Now, the last couple of mini kits are actually inside the maze. Now, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, the maze, well, we actually have this boss battle that comes up here. And as soon as we repair this, we have a long hallway of doors we need to slam through. And then, and then we have this crazy uh, boss battle where, like, laser beams are being shot at us, and then they swoop by us back and forth. But eventually, the ground changes and uh, we have a top-down view, and it's it's kind of a maze-like effect where we have to go around and avoid the bombs. And once we get to that, though, we are good to go. So guess what? There is another long drought. If you're in a hurry, I would definitely use the quick link for mini kit number nine. It is, uh, yeah, like three three and a half minutes away still. So, uh, and, and you know what? I struggle with this too. I I learned something here. I did not know that the slender edition of Mr. Incredible, he is not allowed to run through the walls. Like, with the bigger guy, you can double tap and run in a direction, and he will plow through all those walls in rapid succession. Not lucky for us, because we chose the little guy, and he apparently is not strong enough to do that, so... Oh, hey, by the way, if you guys are on Instagram, you guys are on the gram, we am. That's right. Uh, check us out. We have all sorts of photos and stuff. Uh, we've been a little slow lately, and uh, we're going to change that. Basically, school is almost back in session, which means both the wife and the kid are going to be back, and I will have uh, the full day in the office to go ahead and get stuff done. And I'm definitely more productive not in the summertime. And that's good, though. You know, we're family first around here, and I definitely make sure that I spend as much time with them as they want to see me, which is not always the case, especially with Reese being a teenager now. You know, and that's crazy to think, too. When we started Happy Thumbs, Reese was six years old. Isn't that nuts? Ugh. Uh, moving along now. So, Bon Voyage, we've got th it's the rule of three here. So, so we've gone through the first little part here. Uh, we're, we're about halfway through it where he then cues Buddy up in the room, and different things happen every time he signals to Buddy up in that room. Uh, I find that having a flying character like Syndrome and just kind of floating above those is much easier than trying to jump over them with the right timing. If, if you watch the story videos of this, I failed miserably. And I thought, oh, I'm onto something here. I thought I maybe found like an Easter egg or something, but I, 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 it doesn't appear to be anything special. Uh, I didn't find any bonuses to being up top with Bon Voyage either. I guess I probably could have avoided more of the lasers as I go right through them there. But uh, yeah, again, float, 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 float. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, something we haven't talked about in a while, what are some franchises you guys would like to see in Lego form? 
You know, I was just talking about floating. It would be interesting to see like a Stephen King Lego set where like all the different, you know, like the different Stephen King movies have different characters and maybe you go through, that, that would be kind of cool, huh? Um, anyways, uh, here we are in the maze, officially ready to find our next mini kit. Now, the goal of this is you got to hop onto the old green safety spots when he is throwing those bombs at us and avoid them so that you don't get blowed up. But we're going to go ahead and sneak on by, and there's this strong handle over here. We need to pull that back with somebody strong like Mr. Incredible. Once he gets that all the way extended, it actually opens the gate, revealing a mini kit just over to the right. So switch characters and run over there. Try not to get exploded on the way over there. Grab the mini kit, and then uh, we're going to keep on keeping on. Now, there is a crossroad up here at the top where it wants you to go left because that's where the final switch is. We are not going to do that. We're going to stay all the way up. We're going to go north. Uh oh look out. And uh, we're, so basically, we're going to go up and around to the right rather than uh, going down to the left, right? So watch this. We're, we're going to wait for this to blow up. Once those lasers go bye-bye, up we go. And instead of going left, we're going to go up and then to the left, right? I, th I think I might have said that wrong a minute ago. But anyhow, hopefully uh, you'll do what I show, not what I say. At the very end of the upper left path, you're going to find a push switch. Go ahead and flip that all the way around and grab number 10. Pa, 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 pa. All right, a little celebratory horns for everybody. And the good news is, is that we are almost all the way to the end of this. All you have to do is get to the computer, get your beep -a -bop -a beep on one more time, and it will flip us back out. And that should take us to the final little moment here. That's right, he's slamming down. What you got? What you got? I think we, yeah, boy, boy, uh, come on, come on. Oh, that's right. He's got to throw bombs at us. We got to throw them back. Bomb, 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 bomb. So it's the rule of three times three here. So uh, in this particular case, he's throwing three sets of bombs at us. And the third one he throws, he, well, I, not three sets. I said that wrong. He's throwing groups of three at us. And the third one he throws, you can grab and toss back at him. There we go. I finally got it right. Again, do what I show, not what I say. And uh, he throws a little temper tantrum and throws some bad guys at us. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use my super attack here because why not? And once those guys are gone, he's going to throw another group of three bombs at us. Again, the third one is going to be tossable. Grab it and throw it back. Oh, no, that was a weak toss. Uh, all right. Unfortunately, you can't fly and throw things either. That was one little complaint that I had. And uh, wah, he says, so uh, more bad guys. Unfortunately, I don't have a super attack this time, so I have to take them out individually. Give them the old cha 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 cha. And last but not least, three more bombs. He's turfing down at us, and I'll grab it. Oh, he's got some more baddies coming this time. Try not to target one of the bad guys, as that will waste the bomb. And up and boom, ya kashow. Boom, ya kashow, I guess. All right, we got the gold brick and a blind bag for completing the story already. We got the true super for getting that 150,000 studdage. And, of course, we got all 10 of the mini kits, which are going to build up a vehicle that we could use. Or Wait, wait. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention this, too. There was a spot in the background where this house was floating through the air. So it makes sense that we got that in the level. But, hey, that is good going to wrap it up for lego the incredibles the golden years free play hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe and if you like this video if we if you found it helpful click that like button spread the word of happy thumbs as we mentioned we're on that home stretch for that 100k you can help us get there as for me that's gonna do it as always until next time